Meanwhile, the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, has expressed concern that the proposed education loan scheme will trap students in long-term debt. This statement was made after the National Executive Council meeting at the Niger Delta University, Wilberforce Island, Bielsa State, where ASU acknowledged the failure of the Bola Tinubu led administration to address the issues that led to the nationwide strike from February to October 2022. ASU criticized successive Nigerian governments for not honoring agreements with the union, leading to the frequent use of strike actions to fight for their rights. Well, to discuss this further, Dr. Stephen Sfatonji, a lecturer at the Department of Broadcasting, Lagos State University, joins me on the news. Thank you very much for joining me, Mr. Sfatonji. Now, ASU has expressed concerns that the student loan scheme will keep students in permanent debt and starve public universities of funding. What is your opinion on this? Yeah, thank you. Good evening to you. Um, I do not think that that concern is absolute. Uh, the student loan scheme is not, uh, may not necessarily keep the students in permanent debt uh, crisis if it is properly implemented. Uh, students that are able to assess job opportunities, students that are able to establish their own businesses, tell me how the loan will keep them in debt. As a matter of fact, in my own opinion, I believe that the student loan scheme is a welcomed development. Uh, it will provide, you know, opportunity for less privileged students to gain access to tertiary education. My only area of concern is the implementation procedure and how do we ensure that this thing is done with utmost transparency and accountability. So to me, I do not believe that, that it will keep a student in perpetual debt is a good one. All right, now, what other measures do you think, as I said, student loan, what other measures do you think could better address the issue of access to quality education in Nigeria. Yeah, one of the one of the measures to assess, to address uh, access to quality education, besides the student loan, is the need to improve the economy. If our economy is good, there will be no need for any student to be talking about loan before he or she can go to higher institution. So the federal government should improve, you know, the economy. The economy is, is we all know, we don't even need to overflow this. As soon as that is okay, there are countries that from their undergraduates, in fact, from primary uh, level to tertiary education, it's free. For ex an example, is Sweden, because the economy is good. Besides that, um, what else, what what are, what other thing? I think uh, universities also should think outside the box. The way universities, you know, um, increase tuition fee, you know, tax students, is on the high side. If you consider the the general rate of poverty in Nigeria, so we should think of other means of making money uh, other than tuition. Because at the end of the day, this whole thing goes down to the common man and they find it difficult to pay. So there are so many things universities can do to improve their internally generated revenue. And that will lessen the burden on parents and students. Hopefully that happens. Dr. Stephen Fatonji, lecturer, Department of Broadcasting at the Lagos State University. Thank you for lending your thoughts.